It happened Saturday afternoon in Colorado. Pilot incapacitation. Two miles south of Kilo, emergency auto land in 19 minutes on runway 30 right at Kilo. A computerized voice breaking over the radio, alerting controllers at Rocky Mountain Metro Airport in Broomfield to an inbound emergency. The computer transmitting which runway the Beechcraft Super King would land on, then counting down as it approached. Emergency auto land in nine minutes on runway 30 right at Kilo. Immediately, the controller at the busy region airport vectored other planes away from the inbound emergency. The computer is estimating to be on the ground here in a few minutes and we are, they are uh, doing auto land procedures. We are expecting them to kind of stop on the runway. The system called Auto Land is made by Garmin. It automatically activates if it senses the pilot isn't responsive or it can be manually activated by passengers. Garmin says Saturday's incident is the first time it's been used in a real emergency. Autoland takes complete control of the aircraft. It searches airports for the best option for landing. A system that will automatically take over the aircraft and land it in the event of a pilot incapacitation. And so it does everything, including looking at the wind, and then it positions the airplane using the autopilot to land on that runway. It extends the landing gear, it extends the flaps, uh, and it broadcasts repeatedly what it's doing and its time until touchdown so that everybody involved knows where the airplane is and what it's going to do, and it, it lands the airplane. Emergency auto landing less than one minute on runway 30 right at Kilo. The plane had left Aspen earlier in the afternoon and reportedly suffered a pressurization issue in flight. The FAA tells NBC News the pilot had lost communications with air traffic control. Our, the airport is currently closed. Uh, we're not sure in ETA on when it's going to be back open. North Metro Fire Rescue tells NBC News units followed the plane as it landed, but the two people on board shut down the engine and walked off, requiring no medical attention. While commercial airliners have two pilots in the cockpit, most private planes don't. Garmin says 1,700 planes are now equipped with Autoland, offering a new level of safety for passengers if a pilot is incapacitated. Back to you.